program will be also useful to you to make you understand how GPA is computed. Uh, the question also consists of two parts. Part one, we are going to define the class and part two, we are going to test for the class. So let us see what is required, the specifications for the class. It says define a class with the following specifications. The class name is course, so this is the name of the class. It has a three private instance variables, so they are private. We need a code of the, of the, of the course and the credits, which is integer, and the grade, which is character. So let us start first implementing this part, and then we will come back for the other parts. So public course, uh, sorry, public class, and course C should be capital, and we start the implementation of the class. First, we need to define the data members, and they should be private, string, which is the code, and also private, which is integer, will be credits, and also private, which is char, and it will be grade. This is going to be for part, part A. For part B, we need to write a constructor that accepts, when it says accepts, it means through the input parameter, accepts the code, number of credits, and a grade. So simply all of the data of the class. Here we have some conditions. It says if a credit parameter is negative because the credits cannot be negative, then we will set the credits to zero. And for a grade, you know that for the grades, we should have A, B, C, or D, or F. Other than these letters should not be accepted. So it says if the parameter is not one of those letters, then we will change it to F. Assume that all grades are in uppercase. So we will accept only uppercase, assuming that the user will give us only capital letters. Now for part B, so we need to define the constructor. And remember, the constructor will be public, will have the same name as the class, and we don't have any return value. It will accept a code and will accept credits and also will accept grade and see that the names of the parameters are the same names as the data inside the class so we have to use the word this for, for referencing the current object for the code we will say this dot, co uh, dot code is equal to code which is coming from the input parameter. So this code is the input, and this code is the code inside the class. Now for the credits. First, we will set the credits to zero, and then we will check for the credits. If the credits given by the user is greater than zero, so that means it is positive and valid. So change zero, which is a credit, to the credit that's coming from the parameter or you can use f and else if a credits less than zero then this dot credits equal to zero else this this dot credit equal to credit now for the grade now for the grade also we will do the same we will say this dot grade and we assume that it is the by default is f here now if the letter that is coming from the input parameter, if it is A, B, C, or D, if any of these letters, then it will change a grade. Any other letter should not change this grade. So either we can use F statement or we can use a switch. So I'm going to use a switch for the input parameter, which is a grade, because the grade is the one that we need to test for. And then inside we will write many cases for case A, case B, case C, 
and case D. So if the input parameter any of those, simply change the grade, this grade, into the grade that's coming from the input parameter and we have a break. Otherwise, we can say default. Now, if we want to add default, then you can remove this and you don't need it because for default, it will put this grade is equal to F. Now, if you initialized F, if you initialize this grade to F, the one that I have just removed, then you don't need default, you just simply put a case statement. So here we have finished the implementation of the constructor. Now for part C, the question is asking to write a public getter and setter for credits only. See, it says credits. It did not say that we have to write getter and setter for the other uh, private variables. So we need one, one for getting and one for setting. Now here it says in the setter method, keep credits unchanged in case the input parameter is neg negative. So if the user gives us negative number, then we will not change the number of credits. We'll keep it as it is. So for part C, part C, getter and setter for credits. So let us write the getter first, public, and since the credits is integer, so it will return integer, get credits, and it does not need any input parameter, and inside we write this dot credits. Now for the setter, public, it is void, and we will call it set credits, and it needs the new credit, and we will call it also credits. Normally, we just add this dot credits equal to credits, but the question says if it is negative, then don't change it. So we will check for credits that's coming from the parameter. If it is less than zero, and let's just say it says negative, so less than zero. System dot out dot println negative credits are invalid. And uh, so let us print it so that the user can see it. Credits minus three credits. is invalid or are invalid current credits are unchanged so this is the message what will appear to the user in case the input is negative otherwise else we will change the credit this dot the credits will make it equal to credits. Now, if I cannot see the message on the screen, I can break it into two messages, but on the output, it will be just simply one line. Uh, but it seems that there is duplicate in here, so I need to delete it. So this is now completes our implementation for part C. For part D, it says write a public method called wait. So this is the name of the method wait. It will return, so that returns, that means it has a return value. That returns the course weight. The course weight is computed by multiplying the course credits with the grade points. Which means you need to multiply the credits by the grade points, you will get weight. According to the table below, so for each grade there is a point. If a grade A, it is 4. If it is B, it is a 3. C is 2. D is 1. And F is 0. Of course, for the university system, we have also points for A minus, for B plus, B minus, and etc. But here, for simplicity, we will assume we have only these grades. So this method will simply multiply the number of credits 
by the grade according to the grade and the value we will get is called weight. Let us implement this uh, in the class. Now part D, writing the method for the weight. So it will be public. And since in the calculation we are multiplying points and points, you know, they are double. So we expect that this will retain double and it is called weight. And now we will see if it needs input parameters or not. And it is going to return no conditions here. It will multiply credits, but by what points? So here we need to check for the grade. So we can proceed this by saying double, let us call it weight here. Or we can simply return it directly by using a switch and we can use return many times and we will check for a grade. Now in case it is capital letter A, then it will return this multiplied by credits multiplied by 4.0 and here by the way we don't need a break why because once we return we are going out from the method and there is no need for a break in case for b then we will return the same calculation but we will multiply it by three and i will just simply copy and here will be multiplied by 2 for C. And for D. Multiply by 1. And finally, if it is F, so we will say default. There is no other choice than F. Here it will return, just simply return 0. Why? Because 0 multiplied by anything, it will be 0 and we will remove this return. Now for the input parameter, because we have said that here what input we need. Now as you see that the method needs a grade and here we should say that this dot a grade, although that this is optional because we don't have input parameter grade. And also we need the credits, which is inside the class, so we don't need any input parameter, and this completes the implementation of part D. For part E, it says write a public method called the print info that displays all the instance variables. So this method will only simply print, and as an example, it will print the code, it will print number of credits, and it will print the grade. So here we will have part E which is a printing and since it is a printing so it will be most probably void does not retain any value just a print and it is called print info and since it is going to print the information inside the class so it does not need any input parameter from outside the class. So we will print and here we will say code tab and we will print this dot code system dot out dot print land. Now credits tab this dot credits and finally system.out.println and here we will have grade tab plus this dot grade and this completes the implementation of the class there are no more parts to include now we need to save it so we will save it and at the same time, we need to check that does not have any errors. So we will press the plus sign. In fact, we found one. And what does it say? It says not a statement. This dot credit, where is it? Get OK. Sorry, here we have to say return because this is a getter. 
so it needs to retain the credits run it again and here also we have an error uh, what does it say if a credits okay so it says cannot find symbol credits okay credits okay and here we also must have credits similarly here we have to say credits and now we don't have any errors for the class now for part two of the program it says write a java application to do the following so we have also parts it says create two objects from the class course one will be for ITCS113 with number of credits is 5 and grade is A and we create another object for physics 101 with number of credits is 2 and the grade is C. So this is a test application uh, for the course. See the name it says course test app. So this is an application that it will test for the course class. It says we have to create two objects one for ITCS113 and one for physics 101 so we will say course course sorry capital letter course and I'm going to call it ITCS 113 equal a new course and we will put the title inside ITCS the code sorry 113 and number of credits 5 and the grade will be A and now we will create another course for physics, PHYCS and 101. And this will be new course and the code will be PHYCS 101. And number of credits is 2 and the grade is C. So this is for part A. Part B change the credit hours for ITCS 113 to 3 and physics to 4. Now part B, it says change the credit hours and remember that the credits inside the object or the class are is a private. So how to change it? Remember we have a setter and getter. So we are going to use set. So we will say ITCS113 dot set credits and we will put the new credits which is a three and also for physics PHYCS dot set the credits and we will put between a bracket four to change the credits and we cannot access the credits directly we cannot say this is the name of the variable of the object we cannot say ITCS 113 dot credits equal to 3 because it is private. Part C and part C it says print the course information for both courses. And this is very simple. We can just simply call the method print info for both courses. Part C we will print the first course. So it will be ITCS 113.printinfo. And then for physics, we will also PHYCS.printinfo. Now for part D, this is how to compute now the GPA. Now we assume that the student has taken only two courses and we would like to compute the GPA for these two courses. The first course, ITCS 113, three credits, and has got A, and physics, four credits, has got C, and we would like to see how to compute the GPA. To compute the GPA, so compute and print the GPA for the two courses using the equation. So what is the equation? First, you need to find the weight for the first course, which is ITCS 113, and find the weight for the second course, which is, which is physics 101. And how to find it? By using the method that we have defined inside the class called weight. Add these two weights and it will give you the total weight for the two courses. Now you need to divide the total weight by the total credits. So you have to add the credits for the first course which is 113 and you need to add it 
to the second course credits, which is two credits. And how to how to get the credits from the object? You can use the getter method, which is get uh, credits. So let us implement part D. Now this is part D. Compute the GPA and printed. So I will define a variable. I'm going to call it double GPA. Now here I will compute the GPA. So we need to find the total weight divided by total credits. Now for the first course, it is ITCS113. Dot. We will compute the weight and it will do it will automatically multiply number of credits by the weight of the grade inside. And also for physics, PHYCS dot get uh, not get we have weight to compute the weight and we need to divide it by the number of credits so it will be itcs113 dot get credits a plus now we don't have a space so we will just simply cut the equation into two pieces plus physics dot get credits method so we will divide to, divide do, total weight by the total credits now we need to print it on the screen system dot out dot print line and then we will say your gpa is and we will print gpa now that's it that's all what's required for the question. Now we need to test the program. First, we need to check that it does not have any errors. So we will, oh, we did not save it. So we need to save it first. So now it is saved. Oh, there are some errors, static. Okay, main, static. Sorry, it is, sorry, it is not a static. It's supposed to be string. How much time we have typed this but still we can make mistakes and now let us see the other error it says ph y c s uh, cannot find symbol oh yes i forgot to put 101 okay so here also we need to put 101 and here we need to put 101 and also here we need to put 101 because we forgot to and here also we need to put 101 now let us check again and now there are no errors so let us run the program and see what is the output so now this is the output see it is a printing the two courses the information of the two courses itc is 113 three credits a physics four credits c and the gpa is 2.857 out of four now you can use this program to compute your gpa so here you put all your class of course you have to go inside the class and change the weight method and you need to put a plus and you put minus so there is a minus there is b plus there is b minus and you need to put the points for each grade and here you put your courses one after the other what is the grade you put the code you put the credits and you put the grade that you have uh, obtained and then run the program it will compute the GPA for you